All right, when it's cold and you want some warm comfort food that's easy to make, we have got just the dish. And we've got just the chef. Ann Burrell, who has a new season of Worst <laughs> Cooks in America on Food Network, is going to show us one of her favorite pasta recipes. You can follow along. The QR code is available to all of us. Hi, Hi Ann. Ladies, okay, we feel like we you? should be in this show, The Worst Cooks in America. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're more than welcome anytime <laughs> we do a celebrity edition, but I, I think you guys are selling yourself a little short. Too short. So, so yes. tell us about this pasta dish that you love so much. I'm going to turn on your burner right here. Thank you so uh -huh. much. So this dish, uh, Bucatini alla Matrishana, a Matrishana sauce is a very classic Roman pasta sauce. Okay. It comes from a little town right outside of Rome called Amatrice. And there's so many different. Is it a marinara esque thing or something? It's a tomato it's sauce. sauce. And yeah. so it always starts with guanciale, which mm. is. Now, what is that? Like a bacon? Yes, it behaves exactly like bacon, but it's actually the pork jowl. It's oh. the cured pork cheeks. Okay. And people are like, oh, the face. I don't know. I mean, pork cheeks. You know, okay. I, don't, I don't mind it. Cheeks no. are a very prized part of okay. any sort of animal. Okay. But it behaves exactly like bacon. Okay, so you yeah. could so, substitute for bacon or turkey bacon okay. or something like that. I mean, I don't know if I go as far as yeah. You're like bacon. don't do like, turkey oh, bacon. You're that. ruining it. But so uh, I would say if you can't find guanciale, pancetta works okay. very well. And so you put this in a cold pan with a little bit of olive oil and you render the fat out. You melt the fat. How out long of it. does that take? It takes about five to seven minutes. Oh, okay. And you want to go kind of low and slow till it looks like nice and crispy yeah. like this. And okay. you've been caramelizing these onions. So then we put onions in and mm, so we sweat good. them. And you think about what do you do? when you sweat, you get hot, mm -hmm. you let off water, yeah. and you start to smell. Mm -hmm. That's what we're <laughs> doing here. It smells so, good, though. Yeah. And we definitely give it a big fat sprinkle of salt. And what I love about this dish so much as well is that it's a little bit spicy. So we add Ooh. a bit of crushed red pepper. Yummy. That's always good. Yes. And, mm -hmm. so, and then do I add this in? So, or yes. yes. Once we get that going, our onions look nice and sort of cooked down. Brown. And so then a bunch of tomatoes what is that? go in. These are uh, San Marzano tomatoes that I have put through a food mill, or uh, if you don't have a food mill, crushed tomatoes. Crushed tomatoes. And you can buy them in the can. Yes, okay. absolutely. Right. They're just canned, delicious tomatoes. And we add um, a little bit of water to this and then cook it down for, okay. you know, an hour or so. Wow. I feel like it takes time to all come Make together. Make it. And yeah. when do you yes. put the meat portion in? So this, we are going to add about half of this back into there okay. now, and okay. then we save some of these guys to put a little bit of crispy Ooh, on like top. On okay, top. so now you've created your bucatini. Mm. So bucatini is I this pasta it. shape. It's long, thick, thick. chewy yes. ribs of pasta, Substance. and it has a little kind of a hole or something. It, oh. Yes, all the way through. Ooh, so buco means hole in oh, Italian. So okay. it's bucatini is little holes. Oh, cute. Um, so we have our cooked pasta that we add right into the sauce. Yes. And we have some of our pasta cooking water. water. Yes. So you save that. We save a little bit of that. Do you remind us why we do that? Again, I forgot. So the the pasta water itself has the starch from the uh, yeah, pasta, and it's salty it. and so, delicious. And you must do the cook of the pasta together mm -hmm. with the sauce. It's kind of like the mm -hmm. marriage mm -hmm. of the pasta and the sauce. And, and so do you like al dente, or do you cook it through? I do. I when I cook my pasta in very salty boiling water, it's got to be salty like the ocean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if you're you think about things that you cook from a dry mm -hmm. state, yeah. If, if they are just um, absorbing stuff in that tastes like nothing, mm -hmm. that's what your dish will taste like, and you can never ever recover. Okay. So but you do it al dente too, so it doesn't get too overcooked. So right? we cook it, yes, a couple minutes less than we would want it to before we put mm. it in the sauce. And so we get this all together, mm. and then we perform the marriage. Mm. You know, so it's we finish with Parmesan cheese and olive oil. I like that kick too. You yes, can taste right? it. Yummy. And it's it's kind of like a mm. kick that like comes up and it's so you good from the back, mm -hmm. and it like builds it a little bit, and you're like. Mm, mm. Yum, girl. Yum, I'm yum. Doing it again. Exactly. Mm, and so you are the best, and you are not one of the worst cooks in America. Okay. <laughs> so you can check out this recipe at today.com slash food and check out the new season of Worst Cooks in America every Sunday on the Food Network.